Hi, I'm Andy Taylor from Tech Talk Radio, and we're looking at a brand new product from Western Digital, the WDTV Live Hub Media Center. Now, this is a brand new product they just put out, and this product actually has some great features if you want to get some more out of your entertainment center. Now, it comes in a box like this. We're going to actually show you the device, and we're going to actually uh, work the device for you to show you exactly what it can do. Now, we're going to sample this on this large screen television. Basically, what it does is it extends the computers in your home, your technology, your flash drives, your external drives, and allows you to watch that content on your big screen television in high definition 1080p. You have that capability with this unit. Now this unit can also be set up as a wireless device or a wired device. Now the recommendation is if you're going to watch your 1080p content, you want to use a wired network. And Western Digital actually has some solutions for you when it comes to your network. Uh, if you don't have the ability to wire your network directly to your entertainment center, next they have some phone line adapters that could work really well for you. In the meantime, let's just go ahead and take a look at the device itself. The WDTV Live Hub Media Center has one terabyte. That's one terabyte of storage. It's quite a bit of storage. It has this very nice black casing, and it doesn't take up that much space. It doesn't take up that much room. Now, what's nice about this is, again, it's very easy to use and very extremely easy to set up. Now, let me show you the back of the unit. We'll take a look here. You actually have your composite and your component cables. So if you don't have an HDMI television, you can still watch your content on your television. The requirement for an HDTV is not required, but uh, certainly is going to make the experience all the more better. But if you don't, you're okay. You'll be able to use the device. It has an Ethernet connection. Now, this is very important because with this, you'll be able to stream Again, that high definition content, but you also have the ability to connect to the network, connect to the internet, and watch content like Facebook, YouTube, uh, Flickr streams, you'll be able to check that out, as well as some other uh, features that they have on that, and we'll show you those in just a minute. As well as you have a USB port on the back of the device, and an HDMI cable. This is HDMI 1.4, so it's going to be compatible with some of the earlier HDMI units that are out, and you'll still get a great picture, 1080p capable. You have digital audio as well. Now, on the front of the unit, this right here on the front is a USB port, so for easily inputting a flash connector or even a keyboard. So if you want to have a USB keyboard on it, it's going to be a little easier to use than the remote control. And it's not going to take up that much of a footprint. We're going to go ahead and hook it up. This is how easy it is to use. We've got uh, already the HDMI cable run to the big screen TV. We're going to plug it into the back of the unit. And that, again, that's very easy to operate. Then we're going to go ahead and plug the power cord into the unit. And then we're going to take the network cable. Because again, we want to have all of those features that we could get on the internet with it. And again, you'll be able to do this with uh, Wi Fi as well. If you have a Wi Fi uh, hotspot in your own home, we'll go ahead and connect that up as well. So we'll give a second for the uh, for the unit to power up, and it comes with a very full feature remote. And with this, you have all of the features you can customize as well. You can use it as a keyboard, and again, you can scroll, stop, and have all these features on the remote. Now, as you can see the screen here, we'll go ahead and take a look. With the WDTV Live Hub Media Center, you have different options in viewing your content on your big screen TV. You have services, and this would be your internet services. We'll show you those in just a moment. But you also have videos, you have music, you have photos, you have files that you've stored on here, and of course you can set it up to how you want it. One of the most popular ones, of course, is going to be videos. Let's take a look at some of the videos that we have stored already on the one terabyte drive. Now one of the nice features about this is to remember that if we have a USB drive, uh, an external drive, or a thumb drive, and we want to connect it up to the unit itself, we can do that and it'll automatically sync that data to the drive and play it directly off of there for a better free experience. Give me your hands. I don't even do this anymore. As you can see, you get high quality video streaming right onto your entertainment system. Now, if watching movies, listening to music, looking at your photos, that's one thing you do enjoy. You also have the ability with this to, again, go to those other services that are available now on the net with your device. We'll go ahead and we'll go to those services and we'll select OK and it'll give us a range of the different services we have. You have AccuWeather, you have Blockbuster, Facebook, Flickr, Live 365, MediaFly, Netflix, and Pandora. And, and YouTube as well. 
The nice thing about this device is you will be able to upgrade. As they add services, there'll be new features, there'll be new updates, and there'll probably be even some changes, as you'll see, to the screen, we can imagine, down the line. The WDTV Live Hub Media Center really makes it a great experience. The device itself sells for about $199, and again, extremely easy to set up. And again, you get the remote, and you get all these great features. The only thing it doesn't come with, doesn't come with a USB cable or an HDMI cable. So you want to make sure you have an extra one or you purchase one when you're getting the unit. Now, the ability to connect to Wi-Fi is enabled with the WDTV Live Hub Media Center. However, you will need to purchase a USB-type adapter to connect to your access point. With one terabyte of storage, the ability to connect to folders and share your content over your home entertainment system, it's a great buy for only $199. The WDTV Live Hub Media Center. You can get more information on the website for Western Digital at WDC.com. I'm Andy Taylor for Tech Talk Radio. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out our blog at blog.techtalkradio.com or our website at techtalkradio.com. Thanks for watching.